Hello there, this is Toa of Games and welcome to Flip Dimensions. This is a game uh, created by Seacliff and by the looks of the title screen it actually looks pretty interesting I might say. Uh, the music is nice and the menu is custom. Um, I don't really know what this game is going to be about so uh, I didn't, I didn't uh, re even read the synopsis so I'm definitely going to... Yeah, it's going to be a surprise to me. It's going to be a blind. Let's play. Okay, uh, with that out of the way, let's begin. Wahaha, very soon the kingdom kingdom of Twayeth will be mine. Very soon, I'll send all my armies along with overpowered generals so nothing will get it in my way. Feeling confident, my lord? Quite so, I may as well say that I have all the cards in my hands. If there were cards, that is. It seems like Thywet doesn't even stand a chance against you, my lord. Of course, what could possibly go wrong? Well, something's probably gonna go wrong. Just a few hours later. Yep, called it. What was that? It's probably nothing, my lord. Lord Kazuki! What is it? The humans of Twi- Thywet. They found our hideout and attacked our forces by surprise. What? Who in the right mind would do that? Besides me, of course. Who is the one leading these humans? He must be a great warrior to do damage to us, even in a surprise attack. Actually, he's a young boy who grew up in a forest village. He has virtually no combat experience at all. What? It looks like I finally caught up to you, Dark Lord Kazuki. Prepare to meet your end. Um, how about no? <laughs> your bluffs won't get bad past me. Crap, he's pretty strong. Oh, what do you propose we do, my lord? We escape, duh. I agree. Super flash attack. Ah, my eyes. Crap, he got away. Okay, prologue to become the strongest. That was way too close for comfort. It appears we had escaped by the skin of our teeth, my lord. Don't remind me, where are we anyways? I use teleportation magic to get, a, get a, to get out of the fortress. Right now we are on a fairly secluded island in a rundown village. Ugh, guess there's no way to save my troops now. I failed them. If I may ask, what are you going to do now, my lord? Start over again, I guess. But it will be hard to. Ho ho ho, ho 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 ho. How nice to be young and ambitious like that again. Eh? Oh. Excuse me, sir, but to interrupt my lord like that is unforgivable. Minori, don't worry about it. What do you want, old man? Oh, I just overheard you talking about all this hard work you need to do to achieve your goals. If you would like to know, I do know some kind of shortcut you through all of this. A shortcut? My lord, you believe this rude old man? What is this shortcut? Come to my house and I'll tell you more. Sounds like a trap to me. I'm the village elder, so naturally my house is the biggest in town. This guy is pretty creepy, if I may say so. My lord, you are not really going to visit the old man, are you? Right now we are at the bottom of the barrel, so we don't have much to lose. If you insist. Okay. Okay, we can move. Yeah, it's never a good idea to... well, I don't know. Before we go to this old guy's house, let's check out this. Let's uh, check out this place. So here's an inn of some sort. Um, oh, nice, nice uh, custom menu here. Let's. Yes, you can save anywhere. That's really nice. I like that. Okay. The morks like to guard all the time. If there was, if there was only a way to break past it, one strong swift of my skith skith can cut any orc in two. Maybe, it seems like that skid of yours can deal quite a bit even if something has it shield up. Okay. Who are you? The pesky bats within the caves are, are already pretty easy to fight, but they will drop dead instantly if exposed to light. It looks like that holy magic training paid off. Wouldn't it be easier just to use a lantern or a flashlight? Surely, my lord, you don't think an object like a lantern or a fra flashlight would be more useful than I? Yeah, fair enough. Depends how strong your attacks are. Actually, now that we're here, let's uh, let's check you guys out. Okay, so 
You have evil clothes. That's actually like... What makes clothes evil? <laughs> that, that's kind of funny, actually. Okay. Lady Butler. Okay, Minori seems to be a magic attacker. A fast magic attacker. As I probably would have expected from the looks of her. Kaz Kazuki is a uh, phys physical, physical attacker. Yeah. I would say I was expecting that. Welcome to the pub. Some adventurers who, adventurers who come here may give you some tips on the monsters that are, are around this area. We already got some tips, actually, against the bats. Okay. Can we leave the village? We can actually leave the village. Wow. <laughs> Isn't this a desolate little island? Okay. Let's go here. Yeah. They probably sell us some stuff here. Oh, that's a nice little shop, actually. Let's, uh, we don't have money. So, apparently we've been this sort of a, uh, I don't know, some sort of a monarch or conqueror or something, and we don't have any money. I guess we left all the money in the castle. That's actually, like, like we're actually, like, playing as evil characters, right? Because that's, uh... I appreciate the sort of deviation from the standard uh, be the hero sort of game, so it's a nice touch. It's a nice, nice uh, touch, I would say. What do we have here? Two identical guys. Hi, I'm the MP man. MP is expensive to recover with ethers and stuffakins like that, so use MP wisely. So the fact that you tell me about MP makes you the MP man. I see. What about you? You're the H. Oh, you're the TP man. Isn't TP great? Even though you start out with a random amount each battle, uh, sorry. Even though you start out with a random amount each battle, you can quickly get a lot by dealing damage or taking damage. We know that, yes. Or I knew that actually in advance. Okay, you are pretty interesting, you people. Hmm. Yeah. This this town is actually quite cute. It's not the most impressive mapping I've ever seen. I mean, it's only, yeah, it's it's not that impressive otherwise, but it's uh, it's kind of nice. It seems to have this sort of feel to it. I would appreciate a bit more life life in the village, though, like something moving here, uh, be it uh, like butterflies or birds or something or other NPCs. But then again, like I guess it has this tranquil feel to it right now, so. Oh, and this shadow here is a bit weird. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. That's really nitpicking, though. It's not that serious, but it just looks oh, out of place. Okay, let's see what we have here. Hello. Okay, we, we could buy some stuff from you if we had money. Probably the old man will give us money when we go to him. Oh, oh, what was... Oh, that was the pub. So this is the inn. All right. 10G for one night, we don't have even that, so... Let's go to the old guy's house after we check out his well. Okay, there's nothing there. Hello. Hello, do you have an appointment? Er, uh, yes? What do you mean by a shortcut? Ah, yes. First I need to tell you a story that happened a couple of months ago in a cave nearby here. A couple of explorers found a small room in the back of that cave with a strange stone tablet. On it was written, The one that seeks the power to rule all shall be the only one to carry my task. In return, he shall be granted a wish. You don't say. My lord, surely you don't believe such a fool's tale. I don't, but at the same time I think we should check this out. Carry out some stupid task and get granted a wish? Sounds like my type of game. What should I wish for? To rule the kingdom? Endless riches? Maybe an infinite amount of more wishes? You do have a point that we have very little to lose, my lord, but I propose we go to this cave ourselves and check the credibility of this story. Even if such a tale was true, that doesn't mean you are the one this table tablet is looking for. Darn it, stop ruining my dreams. Alright, old man, thank you for your help. Now where is this cave? Just north of here, you can't miss it. Okay, so... Uh, just head north, north of here to reach the cave. There is no way you can miss it. Okay. Well, yeah, that, that is true. We actually already checked the map. There's like no way we can miss it because it's the only thing. It's the only freaking thing on the map. Uh, we still don't have money. Okay, well, I suppose we should uh, go here then. I I have to say this world map, like, 
it's just weird. <laughs> it's it's so there's like nothing here. I wonder if something happens if we go to the woods, like random encounters or something. We can actually run, so let's Yeah, there's like there's like nothing here. Which is really uh <laughs> which is really strange. Oh well, let's go in the cave. Okay. Okay, we s I can see something. Oh, it's a it's an enemy. Okay, so we have this kind of a battle system here. Orc emerged. Okay, so I think this is the uh, uh, the style of RPG Maker XP, sort of where you can see your uh, characters on the screen. I, I like this. I like this style. It's probably one of my uh, it's probably one of my favorites. I would say. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely the XP system. It's it's nice, it's nice. Let's do an all-out. Oh crap, he heard it. I like the music as well, it's it's pretty epic I would say. Okay, and we uh win. <laughs> I have to say the victory music is sort of uh yeah, a bit overly happy, but it, but it's nice. It's nice. It's, it's funny at least. Okay, that bat is just weird. Like it's staying in the air like that. I I think it would look much more smooth if you had it like um, sort of moving every single. Like it didn't stop moving like that. Because now it just looks really strange. I think we should challenge it though, like to see what kind of an enemy it is. Okay, let's go. I'm really happy about the fact that there are no random encounters here. I, I have already like said it in previous uh, in a previous uh, let's plays of different games that I really hate random encounters. I think those are like probably one of the worst things that exist in uh, traditional RPGs. Literally, like I don't. They can be good if they're used cleverly, like as ambushes and stuff like that, but if they're only there for standard encounters, I don't like random encounters. So this system of having the enemies on screen, that's uh, much better. I like it that way. And I, I, I think a lot of people are with me on that. Because this way we can explore freely without having to worry about uh, running into these monsters. Yeah, like, we can even avoid them if we, if we want to, so that's really nice. For now, though, we're just gonna fight these creatures because uh, we want the experience, so. <coughs> and they're not too hard, so. Not too difficult to beat. And the all out option is pretty nice because, like, yeah. I'm gonna use uh, strategy when it becomes more important for these kind of uh, simple battles. It's just nice to use the auto battle option, so. Okay. <clears throat> There's another weird bat there. There's a orc. Uh, I think we missed something there. Yes. We gotta explore every corner. I think I'm. I, I think I'm actually gonna avoid the this bat here. And uh, the next enemy that shows up, we're gonna fight. I don't wanna risk having too little experience, but... Okay. Okay. You're dead. Yeah. I must say also that the uh, sound effects are... I think they are pretty fitting. Oh crap. We blew it right from the start. I didn't even notice it could take so much damage. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah, yeah. That, that's uh, that's my fault. That's my fault. Okay, I can be a bit careless sometimes. Uh. Oh shoot! Uh, we're gonna um, resurrect Minori. That was probably a stupid move, but okay, you're gonna defend and. 
Oh, oh, I shouldn't have done that, actually. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. I'm, I'm, I'm already, like, screwing up things. And we could have used the healing skill. I'm just dumb. Yeah. No wonder I have trouble with uh, more challenging battle systems. <laughs> but we are victorious. And we only had to use, like, two potions to do it. <laughs> Again, this is one of the reasons I l love it when there's no random encounters, because we can actually, like, yeah, just just avoid the battle now, for now. Try and get somewhere, uh, there's probably switches here somewhere that we need to turn, and I actually think I saw, whoa, okay. I think we should have <laughs> saved the uh, potion for this. That's kind of a... Yeah... So we cannot use uh, items. Really? We cannot use items. Oh, oh! <laughs> I'm stupid. No, no, I, I meant... Uh, skills. Ah. I am stupid, I'm a anti. Okay. Yes, just to make sure we can heal up. Uh, we're luckily already level 2, so... I'm gonna save at this point and uh, let's see how how badly we get beaten up. Okay, uh, now since this is a boss battle, we're gonna actually use some magic here. Light flash, yeah, do that. Okay, that needs quite a lot. Okay. I don't know if that was actually effective or not. Let's do Super Slash. And you can... Uh, you're gonna heal later. It's gonna become important, I guess. To be able to heal in battle without items. Okay, you don't seem to do that much damage, actually. Which is a shame. Since you're the heavy hitter, but... Or you're supposed to be the heavy hitter. Okay, let's just do this. Well, okay, you hit much harder than Minori, that's for sure. Uh, doesn't seem to be too tough. Of course, it's the first boss, so I wasn't expecting anything too difficult. Oh, it sure has a lot of health. Okay, we're out of uh, MP, so we're gonna use Aether on Minori, because we're gonna need to heal at some point. One thing I do notice at the bottom, bottom of the screen is that the MP gosh is sort of a little bit uh, underneath the TP gosh, which isn't a big deal, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter, but it's something I just noticed here. Okay. All in all, this game seems to be pretty interesting so far. Uh, it's not like it's not creating this wow experience, but it's yeah. But it's uh, I mean it's something. Uh, I'm interested to see where this story is going because uh, all we know so far is that uh, Kazu Kazuki used to be this. Uh, oh, we beat the ogre. That's nice. Used to be this sort of an overlord or something, and then he was uh, all the monsters on this floor fled. Oh, okay, I see. So it was sort of like a, oh, crap! I accidentally pressed enter, and I just see the message. Let's hope it wasn't anything important. It was probably just the gate. Okay, so if you want to grind, you need to do that before the boss. I guess it makes sense. Anyway, what I, what I, what was I saying? Yeah, like we're gonna have to reclaim our empire or something of the sort. Okay, let's save here. We're sort of low on uh, supplies here, so let's hope it won't be too difficult to... Okay, we found something. Well, here's the tab tablet thingy. Guess that whole trip wasn't a complete waste. The one that seeks the power to rule all shall be the only one to carry my task. In return, he shall be granted a wish. 
That's spot on. Did that old man have photographic memory or something? But so far nothing has happened. Maybe it doesn't grant wishes after all. Don't be so foolish, young lady. Of course I can grant wi wishes, eh? My lord, these, there appears to be no one else in this room. I cannot be seen by the eyes of any race, monster or spirit. Though my true identity cannot be revealed as of now, you can call me Star. Okay then, Star. Am I the one that seeks the power to rule all? That is correct, it seems fate has sent you here. This tablet also said something about a task that I have to do. If I do that, I get a wish, right? That is also correct. Even if that, even if that wish is to have a control over all of Bayweth? Of course. My lord, may I advise that we make sure such a task is worth completing in the first place? You have a point. What is this task? I want you to prove that you are the strongest. The strongest? The strongest of what? They were this in the only world out there. Throughout seven worlds, there is a man who seeks power just like you. If you can prove that you are the strongest of them all, then I can grant you anything you want. That's it? That's it! Wahaha! <laughs> you had me worried there for a moment. You seem rather confident. Very well then. I will make it your mission to carry out my task. And chapter one, okay. It all started with ambition. Ugh, Minori, are you there? Yes, my lord. It sure is hot. My lord, do you have any idea about where we are? Mm, the desert? Are there any deserts in Thewath? I see, so we are not in Thewath anymore. Is this one of the worlds Star was talking about? It's possible. But really, my lord, do you even believe that there are multiple worlds out there? I don't care if an invisible man told me there were, it's still something you can't believe even when seeing. Well, wherever we are, it's pointless just to stand still, we must find some kind of civilization. We are somewhere called Sineba. Okay. I actually... Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <coughs> My lord, are you all right? Oh, the wind, the sun, it's all too much. Surely this is nothing to you, my lord. Help. My lord. Did Kazuki just pass out? It seems he did. Huh? Music. Uh, okay. What happened? It's dangerous to go out in the desert, you might pass out with all the sun and sand. So I was right. Minori, you are an idiot. My lord, you are alive. This man found us and carried you into this into this cave. Is this a man? What? Yes, the Sineba Valley is death in terran form. These caves are just pockets to keep us from its terror. Er, thanks? That's a guy? Who are you anyways? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Who, me? Well, I'm the amazing... Well, if it's a guy, I think we should give it a guy's voice or something. I am the amazing, wandering bard, narcissist of awesomeness. You can call me Sufis. A, nar a narcissist who admits he's a narcissist? Where are we anyways? I'm afraid we are not from this desert. Ha ha ha, that's funny. Not from this desert. Nobody lives outside the natural walls that border this world. Did you hit your head or something? You're not kidding, are you? Yes, you see, you really did hit your head. No, 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 we are not from this world. We are from Thaywath. Thaywath, is that something you eat? I never heard of such things in Zeneva. I guess it's not something anyone can believe. And why were you defending the fact that we are from another world, Minori? Well, whatever you are from, it's probably best if I take you back to town. That would be helpful. Just take note, don't stray outside the caves for too long. It seems like the blue-haired one can't even be outside for 40 seconds. Hey, that's about average, right? <laughs> Sufis, join your party, okay. My lord, since we have companion traveling with us, I highly suggest we check his stats using the menu. We have a companion, right? Not we have a companion. I agree. What is this? Yes, even on a menu screen I look fabulous. I'm talking about your class name. Amazing Wandering Bard Narcissist. Narcissist. Wait, it cuts itself off near the end. I told you, that's what I am. Change it. What? Change it now. Okay, okay, fine. That's better. Okay, that's actually... That's actually kind of funny and creative, I would say. I'm gonna have so much fun with...
surface big guy and his manly voice and what oh, I'm gonna have so much fun fun with him and he's using a flute as a weapon that's creative mm. sand armor he seems to be uh, he just seems to be all around better than either Kazuki or Minori maybe that's because he's uh, level 3 but yeah that was actually kinda random like I have to say I kinda like it though <laughs> in a sort of a uh, funny way by the way I also recognize the music it's uh, from one of one of those RPG packs on uh, one of the websites well, what's the name I don't I don't know what the name is but uh, it, it's a really fitting music, I would say. Like, a, quite a good choice of music here. Overall, in all of the places we've been so far, the selection of music has been... has been good. So, uh, I think that's a positive thing to say here. Uh, let's save now and uh, challenge one of the scorpions to see how well we can... how well we fare against them. Let's, let's just select all out. I like the battle sprites or the battlers. I think they look really nice. Especially Suf is here. Sort of a uh, unique, which I appreciate. Wow! That was a strong attack, like Suf is lost more than half of its health. My lord, he passed out again. Really? Oh, so we have to be really quick there. There's some sort of a time limiter. Okay, actually it wasn't it wasn't the attack that took so much of Sufis' health, it was actually um he had less to begin with. Okay, let's do this and uh leave. So we're gonna have to be quick then. Alright. Oh uh, crap 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 let's go back. Yeah. I feel so stupid. I didn't even see the timer. There was a timer actually telling us how long it's gonna. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel dumb. That that makes fighting really tough, though. Like, because uh, we can, like, the timer is also running when we're fighting. I guess. Oh, oh shoot. Uh, yeah, all out. Let's let's try not to die. Oh, and Minori is poisoned, that's really bad. Okay, nice work, nice work. I'm loving Sufis already, like... He's a really strong character. Ow, shoot! Uh, okay. This is kind of challenging, actually. Not overly so, but... Okay, luckily these fights are not that uh, long. Okay, level 3, that's always good. We get some awesome sauce. Okay. I get the feeling this item is gonna be awesome. It covers... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's the revival item. Sure thing, sure thing. Okay, let's try and get somewhere. I, I suppose these caves are for resting. Oh. Okay. Okay, this is a healing spot. That's really good to know. It's dangerous to go out to go alone. Buy stuff. The best marketing speech ever. It's all yours, my friend, as long as you have enough coal gold. Okay. We actually have some gold now, so we can buy stuff. Let's buy some potions here. Maybe five potions. Some efforts. Okay, that's good. Oh, oh, we forgot to save for the equipment. Oh well, we'll do that later. Oh, why are we doing this again? I don't know. Bye, bye, random merchant living in a cave, which is probably a horrible marketing spot. Even though your marketing speech is awesome, uh, I wonder how much he's selling in that cave of his, like, really. Like, where are all the customers? 
Are there a lot of people in the desert, or...? Uh... Let's go here. We should probably fight something, or otherwise we're gonna end up, uh... Really weak. Oh, there's a snake there. Fine. You are welcome to die as well. Okay, they are actually... they are actually a bit challenging. Let's do all that. Okay. Luckily, the poison uh, is gone. Well, like it didn't work. Okay, and we are victorious. Okay. Um, at this point. Seeing the time that I've played, I'm gonna... Yeah, I think I'm gonna end it off here. Uh, so, so far, Flip Dimension seems to be a pretty fun game. Like, it's nothing spectacular, but it's... It's a, it, it's a fun game, like... Uh, with a quite appealing characters, uh, some nice humor here and there. I really like, <laughs> so fit, like this transvestite Sufis character uh, being in our party. I, I, I will say though that the game is a bit weird, like random merchants lurking in caves and uh, world maps with only a village and a cave, like weird stuff like that. But uh, but all in all, it's it, it's not a bad start, I would say, and I, I'm looking forward to trying the rest of this game, so yeah, so until then, see you later.